Rihanna and her family's new spread offers over 9,000 square feet of space, jaw-dropping views and features like floor-to-ceiling walls of glass and a personal movie theater. Back in 2014, Rihanna moved on into her stunning condo located in the Century Building, a 42-story condominium skyscraper in Century City, Los Angeles, about 10 miles from downtown. Other residents who live in the stylish Robert A.M. Stern design tower have often spotted the high-profile singer coming and going from the building. And according to several sources, Rihanna has long been using this condo as her primary residence. She sought her first condo here for safety purposes after an intense break-in incident occurred at one of her former homes. At the Century, there are private elevators and what's described as three layers of anti-paparazzi security. Not to mention, the building is also famed for its 24-hour valet and 75-foot luxury pool with private cabanas. Riri's first unit was said to boast three beds and four baths and cost her $5.45 million. So comparing to the price tag of her latest purchase here, this condo was definitely much smaller. According to reports, it spanned a total of 3,500 square feet. The Century boasts 140 units and other reasons for a high price tag to live here include amenities like a movie theater, spa, wine storage, fitness center, four acres of landscape gardens, and more. Most recently, in April 2023, it was reported that Riri had added onto her already large property portfolio with the purchase of a sprawling penthouse in the exact same building. Only this time, it costs the billionaire a whopping $21 million. The Century might be one of the most prestigious and pricey residential buildings in all of LA, but we know Rihanna can afford it. Considering she not only has a new baby, but also another on the way, it would seem that she and her partner ASAP Rocky needed a larger space for the growing brood. Riri's new condo is one of the largest in all of the building. It's a massive penthouse covering the full 40th floor and boasting 9,920 square feet of space throughout. Aside from all of the designer details and amazing views of the city lights below, her new crib comes with four bedrooms and 6.5 bathrooms throughout. Plenty of room for the soon-to-be family of four. Another billionaire, Nick Molnar, co-founder of Afterpay, sold the residence to Rihanna and while he wanted 28 million dollars for it, she was able to negotiate a nice little discount. This could have worked out because the deal closed only one day before the new Los Angeles mansion tax came into play. And if they waited one more day, the former seller would have owed an additional 1.1 million dollars in taxes. Still, Nick lost out on $600,000, considering he bought the penthouse two years prior from friend star Matthew Perry. While Perry lived here for four years, he seriously customized the property, getting help from our architect Scott Joyce, as well as interior designer L.M. Pagano. Stepping into Rihanna's new luxury crib, a private elevator landing transports you directly to the home's entranceway, where the grand living room has soaring ceilings and full walls of curvy glass showing views of the city skyline. Also here, there are dark hardwood floors underfoot that continue into the formal dining room. Nearby, the modern all-white kitchen has top-of-the-line appliances, double islands, snack bar-style seating, and plenty of marble counters. Other stunning features in Rihanna's new family home include a plush soundproof theater with velvet couches and a cozy vibe, as well as a massive master suite that comes with not only a curved bedroom with walls of floor-to-ceiling glass, but also double walk-in closets, double ensuite bathrooms, and its very own private sitting lounge. Finally, the unit also justifies its hefty price tag with its not one, but four separate outdoor terraces, from which you can view the ocean, cattle, Lena Island, downtown Los Angeles, the San Gabriel Mountains, and even Mount Baldy. Rihanna's penthouse also comes with a jaw-dropping monthly fee of $8,814, which gives the wealthy residents like her access to all of the amenities, like four parking spots in the underground, a 24-hour concierge, an outdoor swimming pool and gardens, an in-house restaurant, and much more. Other famous neighbors at the Century include the likes of Rihanna reality stars Terry and Heather Dubrow, as well as Denzel Washington, and even Candy Spelling, who owns the famous two-level penthouse just above Riri's. While Rihanna also owns two next-door mansions in Beverly Hills, she reportedly rents them out, but let's check those out next. 
In December 2020, Rihanna purchased a home in Beverly Hills, more specifically in the Beverly Hills post office area, on the same star studded and posh street as legends like Paul McCartney own properties. Her contemporary crib is nearly invisible from the street due to imposing privacy gates and hedges, and it has undergone massive renovations to blend both traditional and modern design elements. Meanwhile, inside the home features 7,628 square feet of space with five beds and seven baths throughout. The home was built in the 1930s, but it had been completely torn down and rebuilt in recent years, making the new style very modern. Curved stairs out front lead you to the house's exterior, which the these days features white paint with a black metal roof and trim. Interiors resemble a modern farmhouse design with French white oak hardwood floors and an open plan layout. There is a glass front door which opens to the entryway where there's a giant black bull sculpture and this area overlooks the center of the home. An open air courtyard with terrace, swimming pool, spa and fire pit. Most of the lower level in this home surrounds the courtyard which is accessible through walls of glass sliders. One of the living areas has white walls and a floor to ceiling black marble fireplace. Another, also with fireplace, is fitted with shades of gray from the walls to the bookcases and even the wet bar. Rihanna's kitchen in this residence has plenty of space to cook up a meal or entertain since it's bright and airy and features gold hardware, two white marble islands and access to another slim terrace. Not to mention a cozy breakfast nook here was made glamorous with black leather seat. The master suite has tropical vacation vibes and looks like it's straight out of a resort. Also including a custom closet with black cabinets, while the ensuite bath opens up to an outdoor lounge area too. Also on the upper level of the home, you'll find a home gym with full wall of windows overlooking the central courtyard as well as the guest and family bedrooms. Throughout the home, there are plenty of open spaces to socialize, such as an intimate lounge area, a luxury wet bar, and the alfresco courtyard. The half acre property is on a slope overlooking the canyon, but the courtyard was a creative way to get the most out of this space. And because of its position on the hill, the entire property is surrounded by tall walls for extra security. Then, in April 2021, it was reported that Rihanna added onto that property and bought the house next door for $10 million. This home was never on the open market, but the gated property includes a large home. Originally built in the late 30s, spanning 3,000 to 500 square feet of space with four beds and 4.5 baths. The Tudor style home is designed with the most mostly traditional vibe, offering up formal living and dining areas along with an eat-in kitchen on the main floor, which opens up to the family room. There are also some cozy fireplaces throughout the home too. That family room has glass sliders out to the backyard while the upstairs master suite boasts its own private balcony. While the home may look a little bit basic for Rihanna and ASAP Rocky, since they likely rented out to tenants, it was an investment. Now they own over an acre of land total with both of these Beverly Hills post office properties combined, as well as over 11,000 square feet of living space between them, two pools, and tons of parking. Out back, there's a brick patio with room for eating in the fresh air, as well as a built-in barbecue and oversized swimming pool, while on top of the garage, you'll find a separate guest house with full bedroom suite. Now that we've checked out the homes of Rihanna, including her latest Century City purchase, that's gonna bring the This House Tour to a close. Let me know whose house tour is next. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.